for the record and who you're with. Okay. My name's Jennifer Bridges. I'm a registered nurse. Um, of course, terminated from Houston Methodist due to the vaccine mandates. When I worked the COVID unit the whole time until I got fired, back at the beginning, they did use hydroxychloroquine in the hospital for the first couple of months. It worked very well. Patients were seeing improvement. All of a sudden, they pull it and switch it for the very expensive drugs like remdesivir and others that were thousands of dollars. We questioned, we would ask the doctors, well, why did this happen? They all said the same thing. I have no idea. This is just the new hospital protocol. It didn't make any sense. We weren't even allowed to open remdesivir or some of these other products and without getting consent because of how expensive they were. And then after I got fired, I went and worked for Dr. Mary Talley Bowden, where we treated thousands, thousands of COVID patients on an outpatient basis. These were a lot of people that were turned away from the hospitals. They would go to the ER with like low oxygenation, couldn't breathe. Oh, here's some Tylenol, here's some cough medicine, go home, you'll be fine. So they would hear, oh, we heard from a friend, you know, if we come to y'all, we'll get proper treatment. So guess what? On thousands of patients, we used ivermectin, hydroxychloroquine, sometimes a combination with other treatments that were proven to work. And you want to hear something? We had a 100% success rate. Not one patient went to the hospital. Not one patient died. I dare any hospital system to say that. It worked very well. I'll never forget a man who came to our door literally gasping. Oxygenation was 69%. Refused to go to the hospital. He was terrified they'd kill him. We treated him outpatient, got him home oxygen. By the end of the week, he was in the 90s, he was fine. This is what we did all day long, every day. It works. There's no way you can say it doesn't work. I have direct proof of it right there. And one other thing, I've got 10 seconds, but don't forget all these families with their loved ones in the hospitals filing lawsuits. One, the hospitals would use security, stop them from being able to bring it into the hospital, and then their loved ones would die just because they wouldn't let them bring it in.